The contract is up. Yo, 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 what's up, Click21? Welcome back to another video. As you can see right here, guys, today I'm going to be covering the Strike Pack and why it absolutely smacks. I recently have been playing and grinding a lot of values and stuff like that for the PS5, and I do want to say I have mad respect for all you console users, which we'll get into later in the video. But I did notice that the Strike Pack is absolutely still insane, even with the PS5, if you don't want that Krona Zen or if you don't want that dongle. So let's, so let's go ahead and jump right into it, baby. All right, guys, real quick, we got two things, as you all know, before we jump into the video. We're going to be covering NordVPN, guys. If you want a VPN, if you want to bypass some of that skill-based matchmaking, if you want to get some of those easier lobbies, as you see a lot of your Twitch streamers and your YouTube streamers get, and you're wondering why they get a lot easier lobbies than you, even though they have some crazy KDR, it's most likely because they're either whitelisted or they're using a VPN. So we have NordVPN affiliate link in the description below. 30-day money-back guarantee. Make sure you guys try that out. And I've got another video coming up this week. I'm going to call out Diaz Biffle. Yeah, I'm going to call out Biffle. You know who he is. I'm not going to get too much into it. But anyway, of course, if you need help, we have a Patreon. I'm going to be adding some stuff on here this week. I'm going to try to set up a live Q&A once a week now on the Patreon. It's kind of hard with everybody and being in different time zones and all the people emailing and messaging me and the team. We want to be able to set up maybe once a week where we can have a live Q&A on there. So if you need help with the Cronus, a lot of values and stuff like that, guys, make sure you join the Patreon. And then also make sure you guys follow me on Twitter as well. All right. So anyway, as I was talking about earlier in the intro, I'm going to be covering the strike pack today. I feel like maybe in the past, guys, I've kind of neglected all my strike pack users. I still use a strike pack even with any controller unless I'm using my hex controller that has paddles built already just for the paddles themselves, right? Now, I was using the PS5. And like I said, guys, I have mad respect for all you guys who still are on console. I have been using PC for the past two, three years now. And once I got back on the console it's just like but even with the ps5 guys i know warzone is still a ps4 version of it so we can't judge it entirely and i haven't really done a whole lot of vanguard because i'm just not a multiplayer type guy but i will say the absolute difference between a pc on 120 or 110 fov going back to console with the graphics and everything like that it just doesn't compare anyway i know a lot of you guys are wanting to use the Cronus with the PS5. And if you don't have that dongle, there's a great option for you guys. You can go ahead and get the strike pack for 40 bucks and then to buy the mod pass for the year. And you're going to get that same type aim assist. So we're going to go ahead and download the mod central, which I've already got it downloaded. If you're wondering how to download it for the strike pack, just search mod central in Google and it'll pop up and then you'll see the mod central mod pass. Now, of course, you will have to pay $20 for the year which I've already done. I've been using the Strike Pack for a few years, actually probably six years longer than I've used the Cronus. Now, of course, I haven't seen a PS5 controller Strike Pack yet. There are PS4 controllers, and that's what we're covering today. With Warzone still being a PS4 version, you can still absolutely use this. I was just noticing how sticky it is. So what you got to do, guys, you got to go ahead and download Mod Central. It's going to pull up. It's going to have you update your firmware, which is something I had to do yesterday as well. We're going to go ahead and update the firmware on our Strike Pack. You're just going to connect your Strike Pack directly to your PC. Go ahead and hit continue and then begin update, right? So we're going to go ahead and flash it to the new firmware. Then I'm going to show you what I'm using with Warzone Pacific and running around Caldera. This is still a good option if you don't have a Cronus. It's only 40 bucks, guys. You can go to Walmart and buy this. Usually they're in stock, right? All right, guys. So once you update the firmware, now be aware, I did in my case what happened when I updated the firmware, it deleted all my old game packs off. Keep that in mind if you're updating your firmware, but make sure you do it, guys. I noticed a huge difference. Now, of course, you do have your standard PS4 FPS pack that comes on it already. I'm going to show you which pack I'm using. So all you're going to do, guys, once you pull up Mod Central, you plug your Strike Pack directly into your PC. You cannot plug it in with the controller. You have to plug your Strike Pack directly into the PC, and you're going to hit this guy right here. Now, of course, you have to subscribe with the Mod Pass to be able to click on this. Otherwise, it's going to be grayed out. So we'll go ahead and click that. I've got like, I think, 10 more days. i got to renew mine, actually. And then you'll be able to pull down right here in slot one. We're going to see which packs they have available. I'm using right now. And that's the Vanguard base pack. Now, of course, I'm using this within Warzone itself. So make sure you guys check it out if you haven't already. This is still a very good option. Now, you obviously can still stick with, if you want to, put multiple packs on here. 
like what I would do is put the optimize pack right here. So then you could change this all to your in-game settings just like you do on the other pack. Change it to your sensitivity, your dead zone, all that good stuff. That way you have two different packs on here. If for some reason you're not filling the Vanguard base pack, you can go ahead and just hit the actual button on the back of the strike pack along with your paddle. So you'd hold left paddle and then the back button on the back of the strike pack at the same time to switch between your game packs and that way you can switch to this game pack if you're not feeling the other one try both of these packs out i ended up going with the vanguard just because i noticed the recoil is a little bit better so let's go ahead and go through those settings real quick before i show you some gameplay and then we'll take off i play on default layout so i'm going to leave that the same now of course you could turn a rapid fire if you're in the burst guns or if you want your pistol to have rapid fire you could go ahead and do that um, so we're going to go ahead and scroll on down really what you guys want to do in paddle mod of course if this is only if you're using multiplayer I recommend maybe doing like a quick scope or drop shot bunny shots you know when you hit your paddle I use my paddle to pull up the map and the jump so I'm not going to use any of these and then of course the button 4 goes on up if you have the newer strike bag I have the FPS dominator which is only has two paddles it's just more comfortable to me I actually own the other one but I still use the older strike pack all right guys so when it comes to global mods I actually turn all of these on there's not really any one that I wouldn't use. Auto hold breath is good, of course, if you're sniping, which are gonna be covering some sniper videos. I got a crazy car 98 build I wanna show you guys. Just going down to the bottom and then you'll get the rapid melee, the slide cancel, the block rumble, and the auto hold breath. Hair triggers, of course, we want it on both triggers. That way we get that extra when you pull your triggers down to get that extra advantage, that's what we want. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and active aim mod. All we wanna do right here is turn on aim assist. Turn on aim assist and then any ADS. Whenever you ADS, that way that aim assist will kick in. Now, of course, if you don't like that shake too much anytime you ADS, you could go ahead and turn it, you know, only when you fully hold ADS. Now the aim assist intensity, totally up to you. I actually turn it down to a 14. So we'll scroll on down and then we'll go ahead and, and go into the aim assist mod. Now this right here is for whenever you're hip firing. So make sure you guys turn this on so that way you'll still get aim assist when you're hit firing. This is very, very important. Now, of course, if the aim assist doesn't feel strong enough, go ahead and feel free to crank this up. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody depending on what console and then what sensitivity you play on. Now, one more important thing to do is hit weapon swap. Make sure that is on automatic and then ADS anti-recoil is actually going to be changed to anti-recoil right here. That way you're not just getting anti-recoil when you ADS, but you also get anti-recoil when you shoot, period, right? And of course you have four different loadouts you can set up between your guns. Now this is a little bit different because it is the Vanguard base pack. You're not gonna have a gun that you can actually choose between. You're basically just gonna choose regular fire. Now if you're using a burst weapon, you're gonna change that to rapid fire. All right guys, so when it comes, like I said, you're not gonna have the specific guns when it comes to the strike pack with this pack itself. Now you do have it with the older pack, but you don't have the new Vanguard weapons. So, you know, in that case, you could substitute an MP5, you know, Cold War, if you want to use that as an Owen or whatever. Um, shout out to the Owen. I've been slamming that gun for two weeks now and finally getting appreciation that it deserves. Thank you to everybody who's finally using the Owen. But anyway, make sure you guys crank this primary up. Your horizontal doesn't need to change much. It's a little bit different. This can be confusing. Sometimes I know a lot of people that email me, they have, their biggest mistake is they don't read. I'm not saying they can't read, but they don't read. So they've got horizontal, then vertical. So we want to leave the horizontal around negative one. Then we crank up the vertical. I usually start out at around a 12. And then you can kind of adjust that, you know, from there, right? So same thing for the secondary. You want to make sure you guys read and know that horizontal is first. It's not vertical, then horizontal like we've seen with all the other packs and with the Cronus. And then we'll go ahead and crank it up to 12, 13, maybe a little bit higher because it's your secondary. And then once you get done with that, of course, you can set up your other loadout, twos, three, four, if you want to. I, I don't really worry about it. Um, and then we're just going to hit save configuration. And bada bing, bada boom. And then, of course, to change it on the strike pack, all you have to do is hold down your left trigger and then hit the right button on the back of your strike pack. And you'll see the LED swap between on the top of your strike pack. Set this up the same if you want to use the Modern Warfare pack, but definitely try it out. The Cronus, I keep saying Cronus, the strike pack still absolutely smacks. I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay from this just to show you how sticky it is. It's really, really good. It's underrated. I don't know why more people don't talk about the strike pack. It's all about the Cronus. But to be honest, the strike pack is right there with it neck and neck. So if you can't afford a $100 Cronus, you want to pay $40 bucks and then $20 for the year, try the strike pack out. All right. I'm going to leave you all with some gameplay. Make sure you hit a like on this video. Make sure you sub. Join the Patreon if you need help. Try the VPN out, guys. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. 30 day money back guarantee. We will see you on the next video. Peace and love, boys. We're out. Deuces. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's closing in. Reload. Here it is. Here it is. Pressure on.
soldiers nearby. Five remaining. Dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Don't be targeted. 